So in this video, I'll help you understand how the Monkey Pesa Sales AI tool works. Now, the Monkey Pesa Sales AI tool is a tool that helps you within your sales process. It helps you not only find customers on your behalf, but also initiate conversations with them across several platforms like email, like SMS, like WhatsApp, and even follows up for the people that haven't responded to you or the people that need following up. It does all this on your behalf. So in this video, I'm just going to show you how exactly this is used so that you get to understand how exactly it works within the Monkey Pesa CRM and the automation tool combined. So to get access to this, the first thing you will do is, of course, visit the URL app.monkeypesa.com. Uh, if you don't already have an account, you can sign up for one. And if you already have an account, all you have to do is literally just log in. Then step number two is... As you can see, currently um, I have only three contacts. I'm just showing you this so that you get to understand what the impact of the AI will be after everything is done. So in order to access this artificial intelligence tool, all you have to go is literally visit the automation section within within um, Monkey Pesa. And if you already have some automations running, as you can see, they'll all be listed here. If you don't have any automation any automation running as yet, you could as well click create a new automation. Now there are two kinds of automation. There is one, uh, uh, this one on the left, where that is literally automating to existing customers, and this one on the right, which is helping you find, engage, uh, and follow up with leads using artificial intelligence tools. So in this case scenario, we'll select this one because that is where the AI is enabled. So the first thing you will do is you will probably give uh, the, the, the automation and name. So for example, I'm, I, I'm trying to reach out maybe to uh, people within the hospital space. I'm using this as an example. So I'm using this. Uh, so this is still hospital. This is whatever description it is. Uh, you could put whatever makes sense to you. Then step number two, they are what they call filters. Filters, look at them more or less as guidelines to help the AI tool understand who it should be looking for you on your behalf. For this given case, I want to look for people in uh, the healthcare space. So I'm just literally telling the, health, the AI that do not look for people for me in the healthcare space. I could add other other items into this uh, into these uh, filters, things like in case I'm looking for people within a specific department. So for example, I'm looking for people in accounting or management. I could as well just select that. Um, or I could search for people. Maybe I want the AI to look exclusively for CEOs of hospitals and health centers. I could as well add that as well. But in this case, I'm just going to kind of leave it plain. I could also use location as an example if I were looking for people exclusively in Nairobi or Kampala or Johannesburg, I could literally type that location and let the AI know that, you know what, help me look for people who work in hospitals, but their job title should be this and they should be located in this location. So um, in this entire segment, there are about three sections, three, four, four filters you can use. Number one is industry information as an example. Real estate, get me people in real estate. Get me people in banking, get me people in manufacturing. That's the industry information. You could as well pinpoint it and say maybe people who are who have a certain seniority, maybe managers or CEOs or people who work for us, uh, who are in a specific job title, you could get as specific as that. Then the second criteria you can use is location. As you can see right here, there is what they call prospect location, meaning if I were looking for someone staying in, um, you could go as specific as something like Tinder in Kampala, and it would literally look for people who are within that location for you. That's criteria number two. Criteria number three is the interest. As an example, if I were selling, say, video games, I would want the AI to look for people who are gamers, people who are gamers. So literally all I have to do is come and add the person's interest right here and add it as gamers. Uh, for this sake, I'm not going to do so because based on what I had set up, I just wanted the AI to look for people who work within uh, the healthcare space on my behalf. I could as well add the country. Since I'm based in Uganda, I could as well select Uganda. 
And sometimes there are things like employee range. Like I said, it's just um, all this is optional. It's just a matter of guiding the AI on who it should be looking for on your behalf. Now, once you're done, keep in mind that, like I said, all this is optional. You can literally tell just get me people who are in Tinder alone. All this is optional. It's just a matter of you choosing what makes sense to you. Then the next step is where now you have to select what kind of messaging do I want to send to these people. As an example, I could say, um, hi, for personalization purposes, you can add this prompt, the hashtag square brackets name. And as you can see, I could say maybe uh, check out monkey pesa. Check out maybe how case hospital is using monkey pesa to grow its cells. For this sake, I'm just adding this as an example. Uh, it doesn't really have to be the same words. It's really just you. Uh, let me just get maybe the link to that video that they're supposed to be seeing. So that I can add that within the link. Link is right here. I could add it right here. Now, um, like I said, the messaging is really up to you. It's you who is setting up what you want to communicate. We're also adding artificial intelligence into this. So if you don't really have any messages, it can also help you come up with your own messages. So I'm just using this as a sample message. Keep in mind, like I said, you can send messages to WhatsApp, send messages to email. It's just a matter of you choosing the network you want to send to and automatically adding whatever message it is you want to send. Let me copy the previous message and also add it as an email as well so that you see how that would ideally look like. So keep in mind that when you're sending a WhatsApp, you have to, of course, put it in the format of a WhatsApp. If you're sending an email, make sure you have, you're putting the subject Make sure it's relevant. I'm making this as um, official as possible because once I activate this, it's actually going to go out and hunt for people on my behalf. All right, so um, just for test purposes, I'm going to send this and actually deploy it. Right, so um, now once you're done, you can add uh, all the steps that you need. Uh, at, at the bottom here, you'll see what they call conditions. Conditions are, in, as an example, look at it this way, in the scenario that someone doesn't take action to the first messages we've sent, when should we now send the next piece of communication? That's what the delay means. I could say maybe wait, wait for seven days, and after those seven days, and I'm now going to send another message. You can keep adding as many messages. You can say, week one, send this message. Week two, send the other. Week three, send the other. You're allowed to create automations as long as, as long as you like. So once you're done creating all the messages, just look at this like how you, step number one here is prospect match means you've given your sales guy instructions on here is who I want you to look for on my behalf. Then these steps here, step number two, just means once you get those people, send them this SMS, which SMS, as you can see, is right here. Then uh, if they don't have an SMS and they have an email, then send them this email, which you see right here. Then in case they don't respond, wait seven days. And after those seven days, take the next action. Yeah? I just didn't add that for them on purposes. But uh, it's the same way you would have had a sales rep and you explain it to that sales rep in real time that you know what here is who I want you to look for. If they if they send them this communication, if they don't respond, follow up like this. If they don't respond again, follow up like like that. So once you're done setting up this very automation, as you can see, um, all you have to do is click activate. But before we go ahead and click this activate, I just wanted you first of all to go back and you see that yes, the hospital the automation is called 
hospital right here and as of now you can see here this is my test account so i have like one two three contacts only i wanted you to see that before we begin the automation now usually it takes about five minutes to begin gathering new leads and begin, begin engaging these people i'm just going to turn it on for a couple of minutes then show you that it's actually going to go ahead and pick for me these leads and engage them and talk to them on my behalf without me doing anything then uh, i will deactivate it after that for now let me go back to the automation and all i'm going to do is click activate so like i said anticipate for it to begin in about three five minutes uh, keep in mind that the number of leads it acquires for you every hour depend on the package you're on so for the people on the smaller package it will fetch a few leads yes we had the alternative of fetching all the leads at once and sending everyone a message at the same time but we noticed it was causing issues with people's whatsapps people's email service providers and and all these other channels so what we opted to do is just space it out yes maybe by the end of the day we anticipate to get you maybe 100 leads but of these are these 100 let in the first hour let's send some uh, maybe 10 the next hour another 10 like that so that it's it comes off more natural to the person to the uh, email service providers to whatsapp and you don't get into issues of your account being flagged for spam and the like so so yes um in a nutshell that is all you would need to do on your side as you can see i've just activated it right now so in case it begins picking up anyone automatically those contacts are going to come here for now i'm just giving it a few minutes in real time i'm not literally going to go off this page so that after those three five minutes you can also see that it has actually fetched these leads it's beginning to engage them without me doing anything so like i said most importantly this is extremely helpful because now as opposed to sending your reps that you know i'd go to the field and look for people that as an example say i was selling um, as an example off the top of my mind say i was selling insecticides or i was selling land as opposed to telling your sales reps that go to the field and look for people you can literally say that do you know what today we are attacking gong road in kenya let the ai first get for us people's contacts people who reside there get for us their numbers get for us their emails and all these details such that we begin engaging these people automatically from here without us even going to the field yet then our job is now to follow up and by the time we get to the field we already have a point too we've already engaged a few people we've already talked to people like we have where we are beginning from eh? as opposed to just running over there i see businesses coming from kenya to uganda and man they don't know anyone in kenya in uganda whereas this can just begin getting you the leads begin getting engaging people for you by the time you come down here from kenya uh, you now have a starting base it's it has already followed up on your behalf some people have responded through email and whatsapp and all these other channels and it makes your work as a sales rep a lot easier so yes um like i said it takes a few minutes as you can see it's now telling me so far it has picked up three uh three leads and if i'm to go here i literally can see that you know what it has got for me maybe lydia i can view the, the number I'm, I'm guessing wherever the source it picked it this from the number wasn't available but the email was available and number two it's now beginning to even do the actions that i told it to do so if it's one if if it were send a whatsapp it sends the whatsapp if it were send an email it goes ahead and sends the email on my behalf eh? and all this is happening in the background that's why i showed you that this contact section is extremely important at first we had three contacts now it has literally gone and picked for me people it has got me this contact without me doing anything it has got me this email as well from a joint medical stores there are going to be scenarios where it gets you emails and there are going to be scenarios where it gets you phone numbers uh, alone then there are going to be scenarios where it gets you all but whatever details you need you can just click any contact right here and it will give you any details who it's assigned to when it got this person what it has done so far and a ton of stuff just to ease your process of uh, selling eh? you could as well send in emails you could as well send in a ton of other information just to help you with your entire process eh? but in a nutshell that is how the sales ai works and, uh, let me just uh, deactivate this but its job is let it find you leads, let it engage them without you doing anything. It eases the work so much for your sales team. 
for now uh, just keep follow this channel i'll keep adding a, a couple of more tutorials on how to use monkey pesa overall bye bye